in this box, well, mostly in this box, is a drop spindle that I got off eBay for my OBS project truck luck. And like many of my online orders, there is a slight shipping issue. <laughs> now, I've already contacted the merchant and we worked it out and they compensated me for the minor damage. And because of that, I purchased this kit over here, which is a spindle thread repair kit. So, if things go smoothly, hopefully this is going to be a short video. <laughs> Before I pull it out, here's a quick shot overall of the box. You can see right here, part of the spindle is sticking out over on this side. <laughs> and I mean, it's just, the box itself, I mean, is just in rough shape. And these are heavy spindles. And both boxes, were, well, both spindles were in different boxes, which were in another box, which they were just all beat up. So I mean, it was obviously underpacked. <laughs> I mean, other than that minor thread damage, it appears to be mostly fine. Although I did notice I have a resident in my box, which I'm gonna have to remove. <laughs> now, the spindles do come with some protective covers like this rubber cap and mesh or whatever, you know, for the machine surface. But obviously it wasn't enough with these, you know, flimsy cardboard boxes. They're just, yeah. So, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do now just to make it work. Come on, get off there, sir. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> uh, suckers on there. Here's a quick close-up of the damaged threads. You can see nothing major, but still. You buy new stuff, you don't expect to have to fix it. Just not how it should be. Open up our thread repair kit. Now, the size I read we need is a M20 by, you know, 125. Oh, sorry, 1.25. You know, and this kit has multiple sizes. I mean, so Snap-on and Mac, they also have their own kits. But I was like, eh. This, well, they have their own parts, but this is the whole kit. I mean, so I figured, you know, it's not something I'm going to use often. And I can get away with just a cheaper eBay kit. But if you're going to use this, probably, you know, you know, more than all, you know, every once in a blue moon, you might want to, you know, get the better kit. And here's what we need right here. You know, M20, point, sorry, 1.25. Bang. All right, I got my camera set up so I can do a little bit of live thread repair. But before we get into that, I want to point out that these nuts, you know, thread repair nuts, use a one and a quarter socket. Now, if you're like me, I'm not in a rush. So I want to take my time and do this, you know, more delicately. So I'm going to use an adjustable wrench because I don't have a one and quarter wrench. So I'm not quite 100% on the metric size, but if we go off the conversion on my, my adjustable wrench here, which you know, it's set at one and a quarter, the metric equivalent is about, uh, right about, looks like 32, maybe 31 millimeters. So, just FYI, and of course, all the nuts are the same. Dang it, get out of there. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. It's always something. Anyways, all these nuts are the same size. <laughs> But you know, one slightly bigger. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Deal with that later. Let's get to the thread repair. <laughs> ah, you stupid thing. And here goes nothing. Of course, I'm going to be using my M20 1.25 
you know, thread repair nut. And before we get started, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on there just to kind of, you know, help things, you know, smooth it out, whatever. This is a minor repair, so it's, it's nothing I'm super worried about. And, you know, it feels like the nut's going to go. I mean, got to make sure we don't cross so it and start off good. Come on. Get start off squarely. There we go. Got to start and actually turn as much as I can by hand, and that, that's it. So now I'm going to switch over to the wrench. And again, I like to use a wrench so I can go slowly. I don't want, want to rush this repair and screw it up. Just turn that. Too much resistance, and I'll back it up and start again. We're just, you know, we're repairing the threads, not cutting the threads, which is like a die would do. I did look into getting a die, like I, I think I mentioned earlier, but the only one I found was like a kit, and it was like too expensive. This is much cheaper. I mean, this, and I don't really want to cut threads. I want to repair threads. So I'm just gonna, you know, work it over. Now I'll back it off. I'm gonna fast forward this. Well, actually, I don't have to. It's coming right off. And we're looking pretty good so far. See that thread's on? Yeah, threading on much better right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this down. I'll fast forward this part. And there it is. I got past the bad part. I can do it by hand now. Bam. Uh, doesn't quite look perfect, but good enough. This is going to be hard to see, but there's just a little bit of material or metal on the nut. So I need, you know, close enough to focus a little bit. See right there-ish. Of course, some of it is that, that, that red, you know, boot or whatever, but there's some actual metal on there. So I think I'm going to run it up and down a few more times and we'll call it good. Well, I think that's good enough. There's still a bit of a rust spot, but it's not a big deal. I mean, I don't think the nut will have a problem. I mean, you can see it slows down right there, but it goes right past it. And, you know, right back off again. You know, past that one rough spot. Off, no problem. So, I'm calling it good. Well, there it is. Job done. We saved the part. And for not too much, oh, I did forget to mention that this kit is only about $20 plus tax shipped. So not bad, you know, a cheap fix for an expensive part. And of course, every time I ran that nut up and down the threads, I went ahead and cleaned them off, you know, the gunk, and I cleaned out the inside of the, the dot. So, you know, along with oil and taking your time, it's an easy fix. So I hope you found this useful helpful interesting or whatever if you want to leave me a comment or a like down below thanks but for now we're all done and <laughs> i'll get to you later <laughs> yeah. bonus clip as mentioned at the intro the generic thread repair kit i got is from ebay not sponsored but you can also get the tools from well-known brands. Matt Tools sells individual repair dies or even a 20-piece repair kit. Snap-on also sells a large variety of individual dies and a few kits. An eight-piece kit, just like the eBay kit, looks kind of familiar. <laughs> a larger 20-piece kit, like Mac, and also a 4x4 truck type kit. They will even sell you an empty storage case. 
It may cost twice as much as the eBay kit, though. Anyways, you get the picture. I mean, it's nice to have options. 